Yo, good morning. Good morning, what it do? What's going on, everyone? Thank you for joining me this morning on my channel, LaVon Says. This is Motivational Message Mondays. You know what I'm saying? So, today I want to talk about gardens. You know? Gardens. Have you ever been out in the yard working in your garden? You know what I'm saying? Getting getting everything right, making sure the soil is just right, and you know, you're pruning, you're taking stuff out that shouldn't be, right? When I was growing up in my neighborhood, you know, people would people would um have fruit trees, right? Real big, luscious, nice, healthy <laughs> fruit trees, you know. And I'm not talking about the little itty bitty fruit. And I'm talking about, you know, nice, healthy fruit. You know, it took a while for the fruit to come. It took like all year, you know. But when it came, oh, man, that fruit used to be so heavy on the trees that it would be weighing the, the branches down. And the branches would be hanging on the outside of the fence, right? And so when people would come along, they'd be like, oh, man, they pick a piece of fruit. Because it's right there in your face. It was so good. It was so juicy. They were so fat. And when you had one, it was like, oh, slap your mama. You know what I'm saying? Because on the way home, you was getting another one. You did? Y'all ever been, you know, you ever seen things like that? You pass by and see someone working in their garden. And, and you know, they down there with the dirt. And they turn stuff over. And they, you know, refilling. And they fertilize. And they... You know, they're pruning and they're cutting away certain things. And they're they working in their garden. You know what I'm saying? They're making sure their garden is straight. They're trying to make sure that it always looks pretty. And, and, and even though it might be a work in progress, you know, when you see it, you know, you're not seeing the end result. But when you see it, you're like, oh, man, that's going to be dope. That's going to be tight when, when they finish. That's going to be really, really nice. All different kind of flowers and colors and you know the, the garden looks vibrant you know looks well put together you know what I'm saying things are things are placed in a in a good place and and it's open and everything can get sunlight and it's breathable you know what I'm saying someone is working on their garden and you see them working on it right it's not like you pass by and you see them like oh man that garden is dope every time I pass by it looks so well put together no, you actually see these people working in their garden. You see them putting the work in to their garden. You see them doing the work. Not just talking about how much they're doing it. Not just talking about, girl, you gotta, or come see my garden, or, or man, you know, this and it. But they're actually putting in the work. And you see them putting in the work. And so every time you pass by, it's something else that they're doing or something that they're attending to. And the garden just looks better and better every time. And then after a while, you'll be like, what are they still doing? There's nothing need to be done. The garden is perfect. But there's still some pruning. There's still some weeds that need to be pulled. There's still some things that need to be done that could even make it better. You dig? So my question today is, How's the garden in your life looking? How is your garden? You know what I'm saying? Do you, is your garden really well put together? Do you have um, do you have several you know trees and several different kind of fruits and several different kind of flowers that smell good and and are you growing some spices and you know what I'm saying? How is your garden looking? You know what I'm saying? It, is 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 your fruit tree healthy and fat? You know what I'm saying? Do you have grace? growing on your tree and and love growing on your tree you know what i'm saying how about patience you got some nice you know patient pomegranates <laughs> you know what i'm saying you got some right attitude so you can have the highest aptitude apples you know what i'm saying how is your love looking how is your kindness looking how is your self-control looking have you offered anybody some of your self-control fruit how is your garden looking? Would Jesus want to come down and, and, and hang out in your garden and kick it in your garden? When people pass by, do they say, man, that is such a beautiful garden. Hey, maybe you get some time. You can show me how you did that. 
You dig? So we're going to get into the scripture, man. But before we do that, please like this video, share this video on all your platforms. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload content. You dig? All right, now let's get into this. Now, I know we're talking about gardens, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody's not a garden type person, right? Everybody don't like playing in the dirt. Everybody don't like you know, getting soil under their fingernails and in their hands. And, you know, everybody don't enjoy being on their knees. <laughs> yeah. Everybody don't enjoy being on their knees working. You know what I'm saying? And putting the time in, doing what you got to do to make sure your stuff is always straight. Right? Always looking good. Right? Even when you're tired, you don't feel like it's hot. You know what I'm saying? You just don't feel like doing it, but because you know that there's a greater purpose, there's a greater good. You know that what you're doing is helping not only yourself, but it's helping the community, right? So you push, you press through the tiredness, through the fatigue, through the frustration, through all the naysayers, you push, right? And you, and, and you have an idea of how you want things to look, how you want it to be. Why? So when people see your garden, they can be pleased. When people see the hard work that you put in and when people see the love, right, that 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 you have for your garden, which ultimately shows that the love that you have for your community and those that are around you, because if they can see the love that you're putting out, then you want to be able to give that love out. So then they can take some of that love and they can share it with somebody else. You dig? That's what we want to do. There's nothing like, you know, somebody coming by and saying, man, that smells good. Man, what you growing in there? You know what I'm saying? What kind of spices you got going in there? Man, that smells so good. What kind of flowers? What kind of plants? What, what kind of this and what kind of that? They're inquiring. They want to know why. Because it's caught their eye. Your garden has caught their attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and when it caught their eye and it caught their attention, it had to make them stop and look. It had to make them do a, du a double take. Like what? Because you got it going on. Your garden is dope. It may not be the biggest garden. You know what I'm saying? It may not be the most expensive garden. It may not, you know, you may not have no, no, no people to come by and cut your grass and edge it and, cut your flowers back and pull all the stuff and you, you may not have no service <laughs> you know what i'm saying you are the lawn service but when people see your garden they be like oh man that is so dope you did so let me read into your hearing on this monday motivational message right i want to read into your hearing solomon the fourth chapter and the 16th verse because we all have a garden Oh, yeah, we all have a garden. Now, if you ain't working in your garden, if you ain't doing nothing with your, your garden might be ran over, you know, flowers and weeds and everything just came and took over the garden. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you need some help, somebody to come in and help you clean your garden up. You know what I'm saying? Some of us may have real, real little small, tiny gardens. If you pass by, you might miss it because it's that small, right? But to him that have an ear to hear, the Bible says, right? And I would go forth to say this. To them that has the ability to see, right? Not just see in the natural, not just see with your fleshly eyes, but see in the spirit, right? Check out your garden. Does your garden need attending to? Does it need to be, you know, it, it needs some TLC? Or is your garden looking dope and it's tight? Anyway, let's go ahead and read the scripture real quick, man. Song of Solomon, the fourth chapter, the 16th verse. And what it says is, it says, awake, O north wind, and come, right? So, uh, thy south, blow upon my garden. Yeah, bring your winds, and I want you to blow upon my garden, right? That the spices thereof may flow out. Yeah, I want you to come and blow on my garden, right? North wind, 
and south wind. You know why? Because I want you to blow my spices. The things that's in my garden that I'm growing, that I have I have loved and I've cared for and I've nurtured and, and I have, you know, sacrificed and, and I've done all these things so it can grow fruitful and it could be of use to somebody. Yeah, wind, come on in and blow my spices out. Blow the spices that are in my garden out into the community, out into the neighborhood, out to those that need it, right? Let my beloved come into his garden. Yeah, let Jesus come into his garden. You know what I'm saying? And let and eat his pleasant fruit. So let my beloved, who's Jesus, let him come into my garden and eat his pleasant fruit. Because see, the fruit that I'm nurturing, the fruit that I'm growing, the fruit that I'm cultivating, it's the fruit of the spirit. And it's his fruit. But he's placed it in my garden. And he's given me charge to nurture it, to water it, to take care of it. Yeah, y'all know the fruit I'm talking about, the fruit of the spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, self-control. You know what I'm saying? Those things are the fruit of the spirit. This is what we're to be cultivating, right? Those flowers of kindness. Those, those, those certain kind of, uh, uh, um, you know, vines, right? They have fruit on them. Flowers that have scent that they can, that, that, that the pollen can, when the wind comes, the pollen can hit it and it can blow those spices out so it can be shared with the world, right? Invite Jesus to come into your garden. Let him see what you got cooking. Let him see what you got going on. Let him see how you pruning and let him see how you are, you know, replacing the dirt and you're fertilizing and let him see your garden and present it to him. Lord, I want you to come into my garden. Come see what I've been doing. Come look at the fruit that I'm preparing for you. Come look at the fruit that I'm preparing for the community and those because I know this is what you called me to do. Come look at your garden, God, and see how I'm doing. I hope you please. I hope you're glad with how I'm I'm taking care of the garden. I'm watering it and I'm doing all the necessary things that make sure that it is growing and it's being fruitful so that everyone can enjoy it. You dig? Yo, be blessed on today. One love. I am your man, LaVon. This has been LaVon Says. Please remember to like this video, share this video on all your platforms. Hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload content. You dig? One love. Your man, LaVon. This has been your... Motivational Monday message.